Hey guys, how's it going? It's Matt. It was another shaving video. And uh, yeah, been standing here for a minute because my, my lens was fogging up, but uh, I think we're good now. Yeah, so anyways, today I'm going to be shaving with my Royal Dragon, my custom Dapper Dragon soap. I know I've been doing a lot of Dapper Dragon videos lately. Uh, I probably won't do one for a while after this. But, uh, smells so good. Just grape explosion. If you like grape, grape Kool-Aid, uh, Big League Chew gum, it's just so good. Uh, yeah, and also in today's razor I'll be using the uh, Genco Expert, uh, just a 5 8 Genco Expert. Uh, yeah, it was it was 11 sixteenths, but it had a had a chip in it. So I'm gonna take that chip out before I can hone it. And now it's a good solid five eighths. Smoke Owners Club in Boar. Rang uh, rang it out. Ringed it. Yeah, got all the water out of it because. Uh, Otherwise, you'll build the lather while loading. At least that's been my experience. Loading up some of this grape goodness. And it just immediately fills the room with the smell of grape. Which I don't know about you guys, but uh, I really enjoy the smell of grape. You know, it's simplistic. But it's just an all-time favorite scent, you know? Don't act like you don't love grape Kool-Aid or grape popsicles or grape chewing gum. Because we know you do. Yeah, it looks like I'm getting a little foggy there. I'm going to have to figure out how to combat that. Alright, so that's plenty loaded up. Hmm. I could wipe the lens, but I don't... I think it'll just come back. We shall see. Yeah. Hmm. Whatever. Yeah, I wet my face. Some hot water. Warm ish. Got two days. Two days of growth here. It's getting a little foggy. Like the lens isn't fog, I'm guessing it may be fog like inside, on the inside. I don't know. Hope it's not too annoying to watch. Which, yeah. The grape smell on this soap is just, it's just, it's a strong scent and I really enjoy it. It's a, uh, one of the stronger scented soaps I've ever used. You can really smell the grape the whole shave. No doubt. You don't have to go sniffing around for it. My wife is out of town currently, so it's just me and the cat holding down the fort uh, until the 4th. She'll be back uh, sometime on the 4th of July during the day so we can, uh, you know, do something, maybe shoot some fireworks or, or something. They do a... Uh, they do a pretty elaborate uh, 4th of July type party here in Nashville at the Riverfront Park. 
I've, I've been to it a few times. And it's, it's nice and it's definitely worth seeing if you're in the area, but uh, it gets pretty uh, hectic down there. <laughs> and uh, God forbid you want to leave and come home. Yeah, you're going to be fighting traffic for a long time. It's about, uh, about a half a million people trying to squeeze into a parking lot at the same time, if you can imagine that. But it's, it's nice, but uh, for the last, uh, I don't even know, six, seven years, we've just been uh, buying fireworks and shooting them off uh, either in, in the back, up back, or in the front. A lot of the neighbors will get together and shoot them off together. I don't have any kids, so I usually just go for the big stuff, you know, the, uh, what are those things called, artillery shells. It's pretty much all I get. My wife likes a few of the, uh, you know, the smaller things, but that's pretty much all I get. Yeah, I hope, uh, hope all of you guys have some, some interesting and fun plans for the 4th. And hopefully everybody, uh, stays safe. Most important thing. If you plan to, uh, indulge yourself in some, uh, Alcoholic beverages, make sure you don't drive. It's common sense, really. No need for me to tell you that, right? You guys aren't stupid or anything. Alright, so my face is really nice and smooth. telling you guys, if you like grape, please get some of that stuff. Uh, it's not on his site, his Etsy, so you'd have to actually click request custom scent and just type Royal Dragon. And uh, yeah, it'll hook you up. Because it's so good. I mean, there's just nothing else like it, you know. I mean, they've got the Katie's Bubbles. It's like a grape soda. But this isn't a grape soda, you know. More grape Kool-Aid, you know that grape with that powdery smell. That is a great smell. I don't know. Reminds me of childhood, I guess. A lot of grape uh, Kool-Aid growing up. Yeah. You don't always have to be using fancy French stuff. Fougiers and stuff like that. <clears throat> I did order some of that, uh, I don't even remember the actual name of it, but it's referred to as ass milk. Because it's made with uh, donkey milk. So I have some of that on the way. I'm kind of late on the train on that one. Everybody else has pretty much already tried it except for me. So yeah, I'm looking forward to giving that a shot. But yeah. Little witch hazel. And actually I moved all my aftershaves downstairs because I was letting my wife and uh, sister-in-law smell, smell them all. So I'll have to... Uh, Put that on when I get down there. Alright guys, thanks for watching and uh, see you later.